everyone wants to live a long time free of disease. And we know about these blue zones where they make it look so easy to live to 100 years old, 120 and beyond. But for most of us, it's hard work. We eat right, we exercise, we do our intermittent fasting and our meditation, and we say no to so many of those delicious foods that we know we have to avoid just to add a few more years to our life. But two groundbreaking trials published just this year show us how easy it really can be. Increasing our intake of one important nutrient can actually add years to our life. What's that nutrient? It's potassium. Multiple studies published just this year show us that adding potassium to the diet can actually extend our life. So let's take a look at the data, and I'll show you how powerful this can be. Well, this first trial looks at over 400,000 Americans followed for over 16 years. And what we see is a 20% reduction in the risk of dying from any cause, cancer, heart disease, stroke, you name it, just by increasing the amount of potassium in the diet. But the same month, another trial was published looking at over 100,000 people outside the United States. So now we're looking at the whole global community, and we see a 25% reduction in the risk of dying from any cause, again, just by adding potassium to the diet. So taking a look at these two trials together, you're looking at a global community of over half a million patients and unequivocally showing that the simple way to avoid death is to increase the amount of potassium in your diet. So I looked at this data and I said, how is it that I've been practicing medicine for almost 25 years and I've never heard this kind of research before? So it made me think, has anybody studied this? And I looked back and yes, in fact, they have. This has been proven time and time again over the past 10 years. It starts with this trial in the British Medical Journal published about five years ago, looking at over 100,000 people from 18 countries. And in this trial, we saw a 30% reduction in the risk of death from any cause just by increasing potassium intake. In the year prior, in the Journal of the American Heart Association, researchers published findings looking at over 1,300 patients followed for 27 years, and they found the same thing, a 30% reduction in the risk of death from any cause just by increasing potassium. But wait, there's more. Two years before that, in the British Medical Journal again, 8,000 people followed for over 20 years, and again we see a 23% reduction in the risk of dying from any cause. And in 2014, the New England Journal of Medicine, over 100,000 patients, 17 countries, 25% reduction in the risk of death from any cause. And lastly, in 2011, this time in the Archives of Internal Medicine, we're looking at over 12,000 patients followed for 20 years, and we see a whopping 50% reduction in the risk of death from any cause for the patients that had the most amount of potassium versus those with the least. So all in all, you're looking at multiple trials over well over a decade showing that the more potassium you take, the lower your risk of dying from any cause, and that lower risk ranges from a low of 20% all the way up to a 50% reduction in death. So increasing the amount of potassium can be as effective as moving to one of these blue zone countries or going crazy with your diet and exercise supplementation and all the other things that we do to add useful years to our life. So this begs the question, why isn't everyone taking potassium? And usually the concerns boil down to one of two different cases. The first, we're taking medications like ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers that may interfere with potassium metabolism. The other is we're concerned about our kidneys and their ability to handle that extra load of potassium through diet or supplementation. So let's tackle each of those in turn. Well, with respect to the medications that we use for hypertension, there's this trial published two years ago in the Journal of Cardiology looking at over 3,000 patients who were taking one or more medications for hypertension. And in this trial, over two-thirds of the patients were taking ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers. And yet we still see the same correlation that the more potassium we have in the diet, the lower the risk of dying from any cause. So it appears that within the range that experts recommend up to that 4,000 milligrams of potassium daily, that adding potassium up to that level still has that mortality benefit regardless of whether you're taking one of these medications. And that takes us to the question of our patients with chronic kidney disease. 
So this trial looked at over 800 patients followed for 20 years, and the correlation remains the same. The more potassium we have up to that 4,000 milligrams daily, the lower the risk of dying from any cause. And then there's this trial published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition just two years ago, looking at almost 40,000 patients with impaired kidney function. And again, increasing the amount of potassium leads to a decreased risk of death from any cause, even in patients with impaired kidney function. And this is in line with expert recommendations. The expert guidelines say that for patients with stages 1 and 2 chronic kidney disease, we should try to get over 4,000 milligrams of potassium daily. And for patients with stages 3 and 4 chronic kidney disease, that's that moderate to severe group, that we get 2 to 4 grams of potassium daily. So up to 4,000 milligrams of potassium daily, even for patients with moderate to severe chronic kidney disease. So it looks like increasing the amount of potassium through diet or supplementation is a safe and effective way to add useful years to your life, regardless of whether you have high blood pressure, maybe kidney impairment, or are taking medications. But don't take my word for it. Definitely talk to your doctor before you make any changes to your diet or supplementation. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.